What up everybody and welcome to day number 23 of Vlogmas. And yes, today's a day at the warehouse. I'm gonna do a bunch of fun things. You're gonna meet some of the employees. I'm going to get the tilt and kind of give you guys a, a sneak peek at it or you know, Simon's doing that right now. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen his videos, uh, but I'm gonna be making a video about the tilt tomorrow. But yeah, I am here at the Discmania warehouse. So, so what are we waiting for? Let's head inside. There we go. What up, Matt? I have something to say to you later, but we'll get there. That's Matt, everybody. You know his name. Oh boy, it's starting. All right, we're gonna start with you too. All right, so I'm gonna solicit you guys. Howdy. What's your name? What's your position at Discmania? What's your favorite thing to do besides disc golf? Uh, my name is Hiram Murrow. I am now the warehouse manager in training. Nice. Um, also, what other things I like to do besides disc golf is uh, play PC gaming a lot, especially Valorant. Valorant? Yes. I love it. What is your fine name, sir? Uh, my fine name uh, is my real name. It's Josh. Um, I'm new here at the warehouse. I really don't know what my position is yet, except for just all around superstar. All around superstar. I love it. Um, in my free time, I like to race. Anything, anything and everything. You like to race? Uh, Go-karts, real cars, anything. Anything. Anything and everything. If it can be one, that's what I like doing. I love it. I love it. So, what is your name and what is your position and your favorite thing to do besides uh, play disc golf? Oh, it's recording good. Uh, well, I'm Connor Mitz and uh, I run the dealer store here at Discmania Warehouse and just sit and watch football, watch NASCAR, watch Formula One, watch anything. Gosh, everyone loves lazy. Everyone likes racing here. I didn't know. I, I did not know this. All right, next we have Matt. What is your position here at Disc Mania, and uh, your favorite thing to do besides play disc golf? Well, I uh, hang out mostly in the Disc Mania store. So if you buy something offline, I'm probably packing that up. And uh, since it's winter, probably skiing. Probably skiing. I love it. Sweet guys. These these are the people that make Disc Mania possible. You see. You see Simon, you see myself, and everyone out on the road. But these guys are the real superstars. All right, and speaking of superstar, international frisbee superstar. <laughs> what was it again? Inter Osco Mar Austin Martin. Austin Martin. But really, Austin Montgomery. Really, Austin Montgomery. What is your position here at Discmania? Your favorite thing to do besides disc golf? I'm gonna answer the same way a couple of people have probably already answered. But I'm our director of operations here, and if I'm not working or I'm not playing, I'm probably playing video games. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer at heart, so that's my escape. We we have a trend here. We, we have we have a trend. We, it's I a, only hire gamers, man. For sure. I mean, it's <laughs> it's great. There's a community aspect. Yeah, I. I'd like to be a gamer. I'm definitely a gamer when I have free time, but you know, Vlogmas is taking up too much time. All right, Chad, oh. uh, I said your name. So we're doing, what's the name, uh, your position at Discmania, and your favorite thing to do other than disc golf? Oh, oh man, uh, my name's Chad. I'm a warehouse oh, associate, I guess, for Discmania, and I think uh, going to see live music is my favorite thing other than playing disc golf. We, we can tell by the mask, I mean, you know, my dad has the same mask. Um, yeah, we, I've actually known Chad for a long time, probably over 10 years. He's uh, been playing on the in the Colorado disc golf scene forever. So I'm really stoked that uh, Disc Mania hired him. He's It's good to have him on board. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate yeah. it. Now I'm about to meet an employee I haven't met for the first time. What is your name? What's up? I'm Adam. You're Adam? Yeah, I stamp disc. That's your position? Yes, and sir. what's your favorite thing to do besides play disc golf? Uh, I play a lot of video games. A lot of video games? Yeah, or listen to music. Listen I, to I music. I know you're a big uh, and Judah Beats guy. And for sure. I saw your Spotify I, and I, Your car out there, big uh, bass nectar, uh, uh, lotus or flower or whatever? Yeah. Bass flower? Yeah, you were, you're the one who messaged me saying, oh, I. Uh, Trance and Dance Gavin, Gavin Dance, Dance, my favorite band of all time. We're just thinking about that. I'd love a combo, Trance Gavin Trance. Oh, yeah? I think I think that would be sweet. No, that's a good idea. So it, it's got a good rhyme to it. It's got a good rhyme. We're we're missing Chris. I don't think Chris is here. Chris Brubeck. Chris is at home. Chris is at home, and 
I can be him. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm left-handed. Uh, <laughs> what does Chris like to do? Play video games? He likes yeah. to play with his dogs. Uh, he cooks. He cooks? He He's got two dogs medicine. that are basically like full-blown children. Okay. And ping pong. Ping pong. Yeah. Okay. Is he a gamer? Yeah. He yeah. is not as hardcore as me, but he games. Uh-huh. Play together. Is there like I'm missing some... Am I missing someone else? John. John and Kevin. Where are they? They're just working at home? Yeah, yeah we're, me, Kevin, John, Chris are all working from home. We're in Damn. Code Red in Colorado, so that means mandatory work from home where possible. Uh huh. And for these guys, it's not possible because. Guys, look at this. We're just halfway there. The black wall. And this is only halfway. How many? Or right, you can't say. We can't say numbers. I think we can. There's about 6,000 that'll be available. 6,000. Yeah. Gosh, when you, like, 6,000 doesn't, like, seem like that much when you say it, but when you actually see the wall of boxes and that this is going to go to so many different people, it's nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. And it's probably going to sell out really quick. It, it, it takes about two full weeks of prep, I would say, mm -hmm. just to get, get them ready to ship. And oh, my gosh. When you deal with shipping delays like we have, for the last couple months we weren't able to pre-build them like we had hoped mm -hmm. i think everyone's gonna know by the time this video comes out what's going in those black boxes and let me go um let me go find one of those discs it's a good looking one for you to show off oh boy look at that guys the tilt this is a exo hard vapor tilt and if you're a fan of me, you're probably a fan of Simon. So you've seen his promo video already. And just look at the angle on that thing. It doesn't even make sense. I'm going to be making a video tomorrow on different shots that you can throw with the tilt because throwing it normal backhand or forehand almost doesn't even work. So I'm gonna teach you some very unique shots that only the tilt can do. All right, there's so many employees here now. I remember uh, back when I joined the team back in California, I think there was like three or four guys and now I can't keep track of them all. All right, oh. what is your name? What is your position at Discmania? And what's your favorite thing to do besides disc golf? Oh, my name is Josiah <laughs> Griffin. Uh, I do a lot of things at Discmania mostly pulling orders and packing them. And I play a lot of music outside of disc golf. Music, I love it. What kind of music? All kinds. All kinds? Look up Brothers Griffin on Spotify. All right, you heard him. Brothers Griffin, uh, show some love to the Disc Mania family. You know, it's always appreciated. Okay, so since this is an Iron Samurai 1, I'm gonna do the Iron Samurai 1 stamp and then see if I can create a try foil blue silver and this purple and just make it really cool this might be for me or might be for charity i'll be a one of one and what do we have here adam we're just testing it out right yeah i've just got a few drops here and there but i got it centered pretty well like that on the helmet up top it's so funny like Basically, we have the power to create really rare discs just all day long. So like right here, I mean, it's a stock MD3, but it's an Iron Samurai 1. It's like super duper uber rare. I'm gonna put, um, see, I'm gonna put this in the stash because I think it's cool. All right, so this is what it looks like before it looks amazing. It actually looks kind of cool already. Fingers crossed, right, treat it like a baby. Put it on. You go ahead and turn it however you want to turn it. Yeah, make sure it's centered. Here we go. Hope for the best. The gods of charity are on our side right now. Oh, I like, I like that. We're gonna do the other side now. Oh. I want to kick it off. It's like opening a Christmas present. <laughs> Pretty sick. Wow. All right, guys. Well, there it is. Trifoil Iron Samurai on 
honestly, it looks like a forged plastic, uh, let's say, uh, method. But this is from the Originals line, so made by Innova. Never seen a disc like this. And you know, there's slight imperfections in the stamp, but that's just the way it is when you're doing a chef special. I'm going to post this over on the Discmania Collectors and Throwers group, and uh, I'm gonna pick a charity of choice. This is completely Simon's idea. I'm not expecting you know a crazy amount of money, but I will say that this right here is a one of one Iron Samurai one with a trifoil stamp, nothing like it. So go over to Facebook and check my post out. Uh, very important. Put it Throw it in the bag. Ooh. Ooh. Is that one of the first ones? Yeah, I, well, I think that's one of the, oh. uh, the shimmer ones, those accidental. Might be able to sell that for like $3,000. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Are you gonna try to do it? It's for, it's, for, it's for charity. For Actually, first? you know what I'll probably do? It's for Winter Warriors, the Food Bank of the Rockies. Okay. Because I think that'll be cool since I, I've played Winter Warriors for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they're actually asking me for discs to sign. So okay. if I could just like donate that money, I think that'd be really cool. All right, so this is why I love coming to the warehouse. They're giving me the power to create the ultimate mystery box. I'm going to go to the team section I was telling you about. This is gonna be a ridiculous mystery box. I'm gonna sign it and I'm, I'm curious who's going to get it because this is going to be insane. So how many, so this is the large box, how many discs? 10. Nine. Nine okay. All right. So there's going to be nine discs and one mystery. Uh, so let's just, let's get into the box. All right. I think with every good mystery box, you got to have the first run of something. So first off is going to be a primal run instinct. I always, I always jumble my words there. This exo hard tactic is very nice, very beautiful. Red team stamp got, you know, almost looks like the nuke, like the, whatever it's called, the nuclear hazard, whatever. We're gonna throw in a Samurai Star double stamp PD3, but a little team stamp action, S-Line P1X. Little shout out to Simon Lazat, Skyrider. Oh, okay. I was talking about one of these in my earlier videos. It's an out of production. It's the first type of FD2 we made. So we'll throw that in the box. All right, this is super unique. Who who did these dies? Did Chris do these? No. I don't know who did them. Some guy who does them for Anabus. So this right here is it's a tie-dye PD. And I think it needs uh, I think it needs a little signature on it. I think that'll be sweet. So, a, you can't really see it, but a signed tie-dye C-Line PD. A very cool P-Line P2, black. Black for the black edition mystery box. And it wouldn't be an Eagle McMahon signature mystery box without one of his signature discs. So I'm gonna throw a cloud breaker in there and I think this one needs to be signed as well. So there it is, absolutely awesome. I'm gonna throw it in the box and then on the box right here, I'm gonna sign Eagle, Eagle's ultimate. So as you can see, Eagle McMahon's ultimate mystery. I am excited for the lucky winner to get this you know, this is uh, this is the ultimate ultimate box right here. Go buy a black edition mystery box because if you get this, you're gonna be pretty happy. So we're gonna close this puppy up. Yeah. And, oh, okay. Thank well, this you. one's special. So. Thank you, Connor. So now, this black mystery box. This is going to a sea of black mystery boxes and now it just becomes like any other one. You don't know that that one right there is the special one that everyone wants. If you're the lucky one to get it, tag me on your post on Instagram. Let the people know you got Eagle's Ultimate Mystery. 
I'm looking forward to it. All right, my time has come. I'm gonna leave. I'm actually just gonna go next door because there's an anytime fitness here. I need to get my disc golf strong workout in. So I'm just gonna go next door, knock that out. But I wanna thank these guys, the real stars of the show who make it all happen. Um, you know, without, without them, disc mania wouldn't be possible. So I want you guys to know that these are the, the people behind the scenes. And you know, you got to meet them today and hear a little bit more about what they like to do. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> that far. Oh. Seriously, tell your family to subscribe. Tell everyone you know to subscribe. Got randomly on the street. Subscribe to Eagles Vlogs. Come on. You heard them. All right. I think that's a perfect segue to head over to the giveaway. So let's do that now. <sighs> All right, guys. Jumping into the giveaway. Yesterday, I asked you guys, what's that weird shot that me and Joel were throwing on our every shot challenge the one that you th grip the disc with your thumb and throw it over your head and the winner is andy mallet and i thought this was the perfect name it's catchy the bummer thumber because after the throw you're probably saying well that shot was a bummer and now my thumb hurts i think that's great and you didn't know what disc that i was going to give away yesterday but now i have that disc and that is this new Simon Lazat Exo Hard Vapor Tilt. Very cool. New disc by us. An absolute circus. You probably watched Simon's video today uh, describing it. This is going to be Andy's new disc. So get a hold of me via Instagram or Facebook. And tomorrow I'll be giving away this. And guys, this is the last giveaway of vlogmas no more after this so this is your last chance and if you want to win this here tilt comment down below what's your favorite christmas or holiday song please leave your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below guys tomorrow's the final day of vlogmas and i'm going to tell you what you can do with this brand new tilt until next time keep on dreaming and peace Whew.